Hi guys! In today's video, we'll be making this Cindy Lou Who inspired doll. I choose to make an outfit inspired by the one she wears to the hoopalation, but obviously you can choose whatever outfit you like. For this project, I used this Monster Hydra Galore doll, which I chose for a very sweet face sculpt. Firstly, I removed all the accessories and cut away the hair. Since Cindy doesn't have pointed ears, I'll be cutting away the point and slightly filing it away. Use acetone nail polish remover to remove the face. Once the face was all clean, I primed it with the Mr. Super Clear spray before using some chalk pastels to kind of give her a more human-like skin tone. Once I was happy with the skin tone, I sealed it in with the spray again before using my watercolor pencils to draw on the features. I kept the eyes very round and open for a youthful and very sweet look. I added a bit of lighter pastel to help fix the skin tone a little more before blocking in the eyes. I repeat a lot of the same steps in the different layers to build up the colors. I went for very subtle lips by simply dabbing and blending out some pink pastel. I kept the general shading very light again for a very youthful and soft look. I use white pastel to highlight the high points of the face. Again, all of these steps are pretty much the same. If you want more opacity right away, you can choose to use acrylic paint instead of the pencils.
I like using a bit of black pastel to shade the eyes to give dimension. I use the watercolor effect of my white pencil to plug in the remaining whites of the eyes and add the highlights. A bit of pink blushing over the cheeks and nose again add to the sweetness of the look and then you can seal in the final time. Before adding on the hair I use acrylic paint to paint the top of her head in a similar color. I use this blonde doll hair which I cut up for Barbie for a previous project. I glued the hair into wefts and started by adding one across the forehead for the bangs. I had a line of hair going from the middle of the part all the way over the head. Once the hair is on you can gather it into two pigtails and braid them or you can do what I did was to make some separate braids and then glue this on to get the look more like the movie. For the poof on top of her head I made a little cylinder of cardstock, glued some weft to the inside and then wrapped the hair around. I curled the ends by gluing them around a straw before adding it on top of the head. And then the hair is done! I then glued on some doll eyelashes before glazing the eyes. Now onto the body. I prefer to make the clothes before blushing the body so it doesn't get worn off. So I started by taking some painter's tape and gluing this to the top of the doll's body to make a pattern for the top of her dress. Draw on a front and a back piece for the pattern and draw on a dart on the front. Cut them out and you should have these two pieces. Now you can stick them onto paper and draw on your seam allowance. And here's what the top pattern looks like. There's a middle piece and two side pieces. I chose this black and white checkered fabric and trace the pieces on and cut them out. Once you have the pieces cut out, fold and sew the darts on the front of the top. And sew on the two side pieces. Now you can hem the top edge for a neat look. Now you can hold the top onto the doll and figure out how long you want the skirt to be. I chose to make a half circle skirt where the small inner circle is the same measurements as the waist plus seam allowance and this outer side is the length you want the skirt to be plus seams. Cut out the fabric for the skirt and then hem the bottom edge now that it is laying flat. Next I took a long strip of lace Folded it over to make it like double and then ruffled it up. Pin the 
the ruffle onto the bottom edge of the skirt and sew it in place. Then you want to take the top part and place it right sides on top of the skirt and sew together the edge. Then fold the dress in half and sew up the back of the skirt. Now all you have to do is close up the dress using buttons or velcro. If you don't have any on hand you can reuse the velcro that came with the doll's original dress. And that's the dress done. For her coat, measure out how big you want it to be and use this measurement to create a circle pattern. Cut out a hole in the center for the neck. I chose this red cotton fabric and cut the pattern out. I wanted the coat to have armholes even though I didn't end up using them, so I cut out the two front sections off, sewed them back on and this way I could hide the opening inside the seam. Then I hemmed all the edges. Then measure out the neckline and draw out a pattern for your hood. You need a pretty big pattern since the doll has a pretty big head. Cut out two pieces of these and sew them together. Then sew it onto the neckline of the coat. Cut out a strip of white fluffy fabric and sew this onto the hood. Finally you want to add on some string and pom-poms to close it. Now that the outfit was done, I primed the doll and gave it the same treatment of pastels as I did the face, before using acrylic paint to paint on her leggings and seal it all in. Then all that's left to do is to dress her up, and then she's done! I really hope you guys enjoyed this project. I really like Cindy Lou as a character, because I think she's really cute, so I really enjoyed making her. Thank you guys so much for watching, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in a new one real soon. Bye!